Good evening, and welcome to the 19th annual Riverwalk Tribute, honoring the Moss family, which is absolutely our pleasure. This year is the 31st year of the operation of Riverwalk, a city asset that we think is the absolute jewel of downtown. Oversight of these public parks is a mission and a passion for our group, activating the downtown welcoming the new residents, and there are gonna be a, more than 5,000 of them, it's gonna be a challenge in finding out what appeals to them and how we can best serve them. And it's through the Riverwalk Board that we're able to view those things, make those plans, and bring them forward to you. If I may, I would like to take the liberty of asking my board members please to raise your hand. Thank you very much for your service. And if I may ask our staff at Riverwalk also to raise your hand and wave. These are the hardworking people that make sure these parks are in top condition. The events are first rate and they were our minions for the evening. Thank you very much. I'd also like to acknowledge our elected officials. With us this evening, we have Vice Mayor Ben Sorensen. We have Commissioner Steve Glassman. We have Commissioner Robert McKenzie. With us also, we have Mayor Justin Flippin from Wilton Manors. During the evening, we hope you'll take a few minutes and watch the slideshow in the back. It shows pictures of the family, pictures of projects, it tells you who sponsored, who really wanted the Moss family to know how valued they are to the community and how much we appreciate what you do. It's my pleasure to introduce my board chair, Jim Ellis. Thank you and thanks everyone for coming. Uh, looking around the room tonight, it, it's amazing all the community partners that we have here and, and so many people who have made our downtown and Riverwalk, what it is today, and, and a lot of hard work over the 30 years. And, and I have to uh, single out uh, Miss Gina Ellis and all of her efforts and everything that she's done through the years. As well as her staff, they're amazing and they've done just great work and they've been a pleasure to work with. You know, I'm supposed to talk briefly about what's going on in downtown. So if you walk out on the balcony and look up, that's what's going on on downtown. We're growing up and, and it's so wonderful to see. And at Riverwalk, we're trying to look forward and figure out what that means for our next 10, 20 years and how we can prepare for that and, and make Riverwalk what it really uh, can be for all of our new residents that are coming in downtown. And fortunately, we have uh, a parks bond that we've already met with the city to try and work with them on and, <laughs> and, and help to make uh, Riverwalk everything that it can be for the future. Um, it, it's a pleasure to uh, work at Riverwalk and, and, and to assist in everything and all the projects and everything they're doing. It's enormous for people who aren't aware of it. I encourage you to spend some time. There's a little booklet you can pick up that uh, gives you more information. But there's so much more going on in Riverwalk that people are really aware of. And it's a great, great organization. And uh, with that, uh, again, thank you all for coming. Uh, thanks to all the partners who make this happen. And uh, I will ask Gina to come back. Thank you, everybody. If I may, I would like to call Vice Mayor Sorensen to the podium. Along with, along with you other commissioners. We've got uh, a wonderful commission in the city of Fort Lauderdale, and I'm honored, honored to represent the area we're in here right now, District 4. And uh, tonight we're especially honored to be recognizing and celebrating the Moss family. So Moss family, would you all, all of you come on up here, like the whole family, everyone come on. Get up here, Moss family. Come on, come up right over here. City Commission world, we oftentimes read proclamations that celebrate the history of, of what someone's done. And I'm honored to read today a proclamation for the Moss family. 
Normally our proclamations are maybe a half a page long. This one had to get edited down from about 20 pages, so we've got uh, just about five pages left. No, it's only one page, but um, it, it doesn't, even as a, as a full page, it doesn't capture all that you all have done. Um, you are a, a pillar of this community, not only in what you do from a business standpoint, but what you as a family do in terms of giving back to the community, and you're invested in our community and want to make it better. So let me get right to it. Presented to the Moss family, 2019 Riverwalk Tribute Honorees. Whereas Riverwalk Fort Lauderdale annually honors individuals who have demonstrated outstanding leadership, direction, and community involvement in the downtown and in the city of Fort Lauderdale. And whereas Riverwalk Fort Lauderdale is honored to announce Bob, Sandra, Chad, and Scott Moss have been selected as the 2019 Riverwalk Tribute Honorees. Whereas Moss Construction is a privately held construction firm providing innovative solutions resulting in award-winning projects across the United States with more than 600 professional employees and was recognized as the Fortune 100 Best Medium Workplaces in 2018. Whereas Bob Moss, Chairman and CEO of Moss Construction, serves on the Governor's Florida Council of 100, World President's Organization, the Chief Executive Organ Organization is the Vice Chairman of the Board of Directors of Watsco, a $7 billion NSE, NYSE company. And whereas Sandra Moss is a business partner with sons Chad and Scott, she serves as the Moss Foundation on the, on the Moss Foundation Board, is a sponsor, advisor, and past chairperson of the historic Stranahan House Pineapple Jam, board member of Sheridan House Family Ministries, serves on the steering committee and supports Hope South Florida, Operation Lift Hope. She's an active member of the Circle of Wise Women of Junior Achievement and Broward Sheriff's Advisory Council. Whereas Scott Moss, President of Moss Construction, is a member of the Young Presidents Organization and Harvard Business School's Young Presidents Program is an advisory board member of the Urban League Land Institute South Florida Caribbean Chapter and is a member of the Construction Industry Roundtable. Whereas Chad Moss, Executive Vice President of Moss Construction and President of Moss Foundation is a member of the FIU Foundation Board of Directors and of the University's Moss School of Construction, Infrastructure and Sustainability Industry Advisory Council a director of Handy, there's a, there's a Handy Peeps, and has been named a Handy Hero. <laughs> Chad, you're Scott's hero. Uh, he just proclaimed that. So it's good to have fans. It's good. It's good. Big fan club. Big fan club. And to conclude here, a couple more sentences. And whereas the Moss family believes in giving back and encourages all their employees to strengthen the relationships they have here in the area where they work, live, and find ways to enhance the community and environment around them. And whereas the Moss family and, and as part of Moss Associates express core values that go to the honoring relationships, creating an entrepreneurial spirit, and having contagious energy. And whereas business and community partners celebrate the Moss family for their commitment to building a great city, giving back to the community, and leading others to make a difference. Now, therefore, we as a city commission of the city of Fort Lauderdale do hereby proclaim March 21st, 2019 as Moss Family Day, and we send our congratulations from your mayor, Mayor Dean J. Trantellis. Congratulations! Thank you, Ben. It's also my pleasure to welcome to the stage Mayor Justin Flippin from the city of Wilton Manors who also has a proclamation. Thank you, Chair. Well, it's always nice to come from the island city of Wilton Manors into what we like to call Greater Wilton Manors <laughs> and be welcomed by everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm a proud resident of Broward County. Flippins have been in uh, Fort Lauderdale area since the 1925s, and I am the newly elected mayor of the city of Wilton Manors. And we are 
a small but mighty and proud island city. And we, it is our pleasure to uh, be here today, myself as mayor, to present the proclamation mirroring much of the same biographical information that you've all heard. So I won't bore everyone or regurgitate the same things that you've all heard. But there are a couple of clauses in our whereas is uh, in our proclamation that are special to Wilton Manors, and we want to make sure that we share it today. Um, so this is from the office of the mayor. That would be me. And uh, <laughs> we are very proud of the following. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Commission. I appreciate that. Whereas Moss Construction has grown to become one of the largest construction management companies in the United States and is headquarters on North Andrews Avenue in... Excellent. See, group participation is so key in these, these events. Much of all the same things have been proclaimed. I will not regurgitate the same stuff, but now therefore be it proclaimed by the city of Wilton Manors that March 21st, 2019 is designated Moss Family Day in the city of Wilton Manors and anywhere else my jurisdiction may extend into others. Who knows? We'll find out. Very small, very small. Very small. But we're proud to present this. <laughs> to the Moss family. And Mr. Moss, I, I have to just say that when my city wanted to host the Alliance and bring them into the city, your company, you provided us a home to tour Wilton Manors. We were grat gratified because of that. And your stakeholder uh, and contribution to our island city is not just worthy of a proclamation, but it is also my privilege and honor to present to you a key to the city of Wilton Manors. <laughs> That unlocks every door in this city. I can't guarantee it unlocks every door, Commissioner Glassman, but Mr. Moss, thank you so much. Okay, if I can have your attention. Like, uh, like an old pastor friend of mine used to say, I'm going to try to chop this down where everybody can see it. So I'm going to get a lot more personal with them. First, I'd like to thank all of you for making this special evening. I was discussing with the family the other night at dinner what they thought the downtown would be like if the Riverwalk wasn't here. This gem in the middle of a bustling city with high rises all over and we've got this tranquil, serene Riverwalk to walk down and just enjoy the city like it was years ago. So. If you haven't done it, I encourage you. The Riverwalk is a gem. We say it flippantly, too easily, but it, use the Riverwalk. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Take a time tonight and go out and walk the Riverwalk. It's a lineal park that is just beautiful in our city. So it's my distinct pleasure to introduce the Moss family who's already been eloquently introduced, but they've been my friends and my family's friends for 30 years now. You may not know them by sight, but I'll bet you know them if you've ever worshiped at First Baptist Church, gone or attended to an economic forecast breakfast at the Family Life Center, shopped at a Publix grocery store, or been to a baseball game at the Marlin Stadium, or a concert or a hockey game at the BB&T Center, entered the Brightline Station, or departed on a cruise from Port Everglades through the new terminals at Port Everglades, cruised past the NOFA Oceanographic Center, or slept at a hotel in Disney World, or Margaritaville Vacation Club, or, get this one, used electricity from FPNL through their solar grid system. Those are just a few of things that you would know this family through because those are jobs that they've done. We'd be here all night if I continued because the list goes on and on. But as I said earlier, I'm trying to chop this down where everybody can see it. There's a point at which you really know the investment 
that they've made in this city by just mentioning a few things like that. They've touched our lives in many, many ways, and they've added more enjoyment to it. Please let me introduce you to the family. Starting with Scott Moss, all the way over at the end, he's the president of Moss Construction, the mover and the shaker. He and his beautiful wife, Catherine, and their two beautiful daughters, Sarah and Anna Claire, and the other one that I know a little bit better, Wyatt, who couldn't make it because he's in baseball camp. They've done a great job with these kids. I've watched them uh, raise these children, grow up, and turn out to be wonderful people. They're native Floridians and the next Moss generation. <clears throat> Next, we have Chad Moss, Executive Vice President of Moss Construction and President of the Moss Foundation, a nonprofit organization helping build the soul of our communities. Chad is also a world class sport fisherman and very active in other nonprofits. Next is our good friend Sandra. Sandra, also known as Shasha. <laughs> <laughs> who reminds us often that she has raised three boys. One, two, three. <laughs> she reminds us of that a lot. She says she's been a, in a constant fool around her whole life ever since she met this guy. So Sandra has a, has a giving, a very giving heart. And she brings discernment and detail to all the things that she gets active in. She tries as hard as she can to keep these three boys straight, which is a full-time job. She's also an excellent card player, which is really hard for me to say publicly. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. That's, that's for you. That brings us to the last family member, the chairman and CEO, Bob Moss. You know, you really get to know someone when you go on adventures. And I can tell you, after many, many adventures, this is a great guy. But most of all, he's a great friend. We are brothers that neither of us ever had. It's, a totally amaz it's totally amazing what this family has accomplished. And in this short 13 year frame of Moss Construction, they have created beautiful buildings, but more importantly, they have built local community right alongside. They have accomplished much with a strong faith in God, family, and friends and done it all with grace and humility. The Moss logo uses a plumb bob as a reminder of a building true and straight in both construction and character, always expecting the best from people. With all that said, is it a, it's a privilege, therefore, to acknowledge the 2019 Riverwalk Tribute family. Please help me in giving them a round of We promise not to make you stand much longer. <laughs> We're fine. Good. <laughs> On behalf of Riverwalk, which is a pedestrian path, by the way, which at one juncture we saw more than 1.1 million travelers this past year either walking, bicycling, or arriving by water taxi or water trolley. So we're very proud of this walkway. Going forward in the Riverwalk brick section, known as the tribute section, will be a brick in the honor of the Moss family. In addition, there will be a banner hung on Riverwalk for the next year, honoring the Moss family. Very nice. Very nice. Banner. Very nice. Banna. <laughs> Banna. <laughs> We thank you very much. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. 
Well, thank you very much. I love all of you. We, uh, we feel very blessed to have been in this city almost 35 years. Uh, I remember when we came here, I uh, was thrilled to, to move from Tennessee to here. And I knew this was a great construction economy in Florida. And so it's been uh, everything I expected and, and much, much more. So we feel very blessed to have moved here and have lived here since the mid 80s. And uh, our company that we were involved in early did real well in Florida. And it is 15 years of not 13, as Ed said. And it's constant play around. I have to correct that because. As Sanders' uh, favorite saying, she used to say to me and the boys when she wanted us to do something productive, and we were riding three wheels or motorcycles or golf carts or something. So uh, I don't know, man. I, can, I saw her frustrated a few times when I heard that saying. <laughs> but anyhow, we feel very fortunate as a family to have been blessed and be here. We're very fortunate for the wonderful people. Uh, you heard we have about 600 professional employees, and uh, clearly. Uh, the four of us would not do very much or be very successful at all without an outstanding team of people that we have working for the company. So I want to give the great people that work for us a hand. Quite a few of you are here. Raise your hand. <clears throat> Many of our employees have been with us 15, 20, and 25 years, and that's what makes a successful company. When you have, you can depend on people to be professional, do their job, and do it great each and every day. So we're very thankful for that. We're thankful for this recognition. We congratulate uh, all of you who are involved with the Riverwalk and the good work you're doing. I learned a lot more about what Riverwalk does because of this event. All the, how many parks you're involved in? They, not, only this, not only the Riverwalk, they're involved in managing and maintaining high quality in 10 parks in the city. What else did I miss? Parks and the Riverwalk, but it's a bigger, it's a much bigger assignment uh, that they do, and they do a great job of it. So we are pleased to be here to help you raise money for that very worthy cause, and we thank you for honoring our company. You have to say anything, Sandra? I think you said it all. What? Thank you. Well, thank everyone for coming tonight. It's, it is a great honor, and we love this area, and we love the people from this area. So thank you so much. So I'd like, <clears throat> I'd like for Chad to make a couple comments about what all the foundation is doing. We're doing a lot of really good stuff uh, in the community. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Awesome. Brother, <laughs> babies, you guys are great. Aren't they beautiful? Um, so uh, th uh, thank you for all of our community partners. You guys really, they're all here tonight. Um, so many, so many to mention, and one of the things the foundation does is uh, focus on education, veteran affairs, and everything that surrounds that. And we really wanna have a great energy around that, that Fort Lauderdale, that Broward County, that South Florida can only deliver. Uh, we're such a diverse group. We come from all over the place, and it really brings it home when you can change people's lives. And I think that if everyone were to go home tonight and say, how can I help this community be better? That's where we're at. And, and, and we really pick up the shovel and start taking the dirt and making something better. And, and we, gotta, we gotta all do that as a community. So thank you for everything that you guys do to help us make this community better. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of volunteer work and we have a lot of moss. Uh, and we're all volunteer uh, foundations, so we have a lot of Moss employees that do the heavy lifting day in, day out, uh, aside on their personal time to do so many different things. And uh, we have so many initiatives we want to get done, and, and it's just been absolutely tremendous to watch them work in a, in a family business, uh, truly is family. We, we love each, each member as a family member uh, to, to make those big, big changes happen around their community. So thank you. So, Scott, would you like to recite the 100 jobs that we have active around the country? Good. 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 Say nope. something about the construction company. <laughs> As usual, he gave me a lot of advance notice, and you guys saw that advance notice just now. Um, the construction company is great. We have offices uh, all the way from Hawaii to Dallas, mid-Florida, and, and three in South Florida. So uh, we have about 100 jobs going on in any one shape or, or form, whether it be a solar job, 
a high rise that we're finishing downtown Miami that's 67 stories, or we're digging a really big hole out in the port right now. Um, so uh, a lot of diversity and uh, a very exciting cast of team members to help us get it, get that done. So it's a, it's a great honor to be here. Super nice that, uh, that you honored us tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so the evening is not over. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thank you for coming.